ABC Sports College Football 1993 presents Windy's Kickoff Classic from the Meadowlands in New Jersey, matching the Kansas Jayhawks of the Big Eight Conference and the Florida State Seminoles of the ACC. The Noles pick number one in most of the preseason polls. And Scott Bentley, a true freshman from Aurora, Colorado, will step up and hit the ball in competition for the very first time ever for Florida State. And he is a prize recruit for the Seminoles. They think he'll play a role, big role, in their future. High kick. It's going to hang up and come down at the 14-yard line to George White. White from Allen, Texas, finds some daylight. He got a big move. He got only one man to beat, and he almost broke it and went all the way. It was Corby Sawyer playing center field. 48 yards on the return puts Kansas first down at the 38-yard line of Florida State. And so the Seminole defense, which is going to be tested at times during the season, and maybe the soft spot for this team gets an early test. This way bounces off the first tackler and crosses the 30. Now, he has succeeded Chip Hillary. He's won the job. He has very little experience, but his coach and his teammates like him there. White is a key man in that backfield behind the blocking of Costello Good. A couple of wideouts and Dwayne Chandler, the tight end, considered one of the best in the conference. Big guys up front, they've been there. So Kansas, a resourceful, relatively young team. And here's Thomas on a roll. A lot of room over there. Pressure coming from the backside. Fields it, turns away from it, and runs to the 25. Now we'll line up uh, the windy starting lineup. Todrick McIntosh, John Nance, Derek Alexander, and James Roberson. That's a pretty good front, but they don't have all that much experience, and neither do these linebackers. But Brooks would be the star of that group, probably. He just made the tackle. Secondary is very good, but its backups are very young. So it's first down for Kansas. The ball sits down at the 25-yard line, the first pass. Skipped in there, looked like, but he may get away with it. Rodney Harris went down on the turf and came up with it, and they'll call it a catch. Second down and four for the Jayhawks. An opportunity off that 48-yard kick return to start the ball game. Crew is the referee. So Ken, Big Eight Coach of the Year, he has been the Coach of the Year in the Middle America when he was there at Kent State. This is Levine, and Levine is going no place. He, Kansas brings to the ballpark one of the better kickers in the country, and Dan Eichloff, one of the better legs in the entire nation. Here's motion. Thomas is back. Let's it go to the end zone. Has a man there, and it's overthrown. Incomplete. There was a penalty flag. Offside. It is now third down. Big difference, third about four and a half. From third and nine. They give the ball to White. White turns the corner, and there he butts head. Ball down at the 26-yard line. It is a 36-yard attempt. And Davis gets it down. The kick is away, and it is good. 36-yard field goal, and the Kansas Jayhawks now will go to the lead. There is a penalty flag against Florida State. It's going to give Kansas a first down, and it's against Florida State. A big kickoff return by White. Got him going at 48 yards. And they line up with double White, and now put White in motion. Give it to the fullback, and the fullback, Costello, good. will pick up a couple of yards. And I'm still uh, a little unclear on that penalty. We're checking on it. They hand it off to L.T. Levine. Fellow Good is the single back. Thomas is back. Pressure's coming. Got to throw it quick, and he does. He gets rid of it. So Dan Eichloff comes back onto the field, and he will be hitting this one from the 13-yard line, make it a 23-yard kick. In his career at Kansas, he's never missed from this distance. That snap was high. Got it down, and he missed it for the first time. The first miss ever at Kansas from inside the 20-yard line. So here comes Charlie Ward now from the 20-yard line back into the shotgun, which has become a basic part of the offense. A little pressure on Charlie, setting up a screen pass play here. Kansas defends it very well. William Floyd, also the point guard on the basketball team, and absolutely a charming young man and a terrific athlete. Sean Jackson is a tailback with William Floyd at fullback. Wide out to Fryer and Knox, and Lonnie Johnson is the tight end. 
Ward looking to throw it, gets it off, pass. Oh, my goodness, it was right into the hands of Gerald McBurrows, and he dropped it. But for Florida State, look at the size of them these days. Uh, Forrest Connolly is from Berlin, Connecticut. His, his pals on the team call him the Berlin Wall. He's a big one. Down the middle, wide open, Kaz McCorby. See, there's your problem. And it's first down, Florida State up near the 40-yard line. Staying in the shotgun. Ward rolls a little bit. Gets some pressure from the back, and he is caught from behind by Stop Sylvester the Wright. The Jayhawks lines up with Wright. Mamalonga, he's another big one, 286 pounds from Hawthorne, California, a Tongan native. Daryl Jones and Brian Christian, the backers are Rogers, Thiel, and Ward. They're not tall, but they're very active. And the secondary, Tony Blevins, is a true freshman. Kwame Lasseter, leader of that group. Second down, call it nine. Here's that little screen set up again as he threw the balloon up in the air. And uh, Sean Jackson had to wait a moment. That's what he'll use as he comes off the field. And it's first down for Florida State. Ward comes on this time to the sidelines, and the catch is made by Fryer at the Kansas 38-yard line. Jayhawks have four down linemen. Hold this, hold this. Ward out of the shotgun, hard to get to him. Throws that one inside. And uh, he's... 215 pounds. He also is a load. Up the middle goes Sean Jackson. And Jackson makes it first down with that strong finish at the end of last year. He's showing a tremendous amount of poise. Or I must say, his first pass of this ball game should have been intercepted. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense. He looks for Fryer. He has him. And he hits him right on the numbers. Down at the 10 yard line. First down, he'll throw it. Screen. Good penetration that time, but they don't get Floyd off his feet. William Floyd, a 245 pound, four to six of eight for 60 yards so far in this possession. 5.25 to go in the first quarter. There's a touchdown, misdirection for Sean Jackson. And the Seminoles go to the lead. Good. So Pentley, one of the lead recruits for Florida State, makes it 7-0 Seminole. After Kansas missed the field goal, and Pentley kicks off. That will carry into the end zone. And it'll come out for the 21st down. Ended up missing the next field goal. George White is, turns into a wide out in this alignment. Red Thomas has a lot of time, throws underneath, incomplete. Three wide outs in this play. See if the Noles blitz it. Oh. Hold their ground and eat up L.T. Levine short of the line of scrimmage. Led by Marvin Jones, who's playing uh, right here in the jet. Down goes Thomas inside the 10 yard line for kick. Roots it out of there. That's a good putt. He runs uh, Corey Sawyer across the field all the way back to the 31 yard line of Florida State. But Sawyer got through the first wave and almost broke it for the distance. Blocking above the waist, under return. On the receiving team. In Wendy's kickoff classic, and you've got Danny Cannell in it, quarterback. Cannell is at quarterback. Ward is not in for this series. Pitches the ball back to Marquette Smith, who's in it tailback. I'm sure he's got a good uh, uh, good reason for doing it. Charlie Ward backs up off the snap of center, throws a hummer down there that is caught uh, by McCorvey. 305 great point average. He is from Wichita. And Ward under pressure is sacked. Back outside the 45-yard line. Ball is at the KU 46. Second down. And about 13 for the Seminoles. Ward has all day and throws a bad pass. You've got to be pretty well organized at this point of the season to try something like that, too. Ward has good protection. Goes down the middle. That is almost picked off again. Plummy Lasseter. Coming or just couldn't get it there in time? Sean Liss is in the punt. 
for the Florida State Seminoles, and that's a pretty good job. He threw a nine iron in there, and it screwed around and backed up. And the top four rounds came off this defense. Costello Good is the single back for the Jayhawks, and he's going to lose a yard, at least he will. Pete Vong comes in, Costello Good goes out. He got two tight ends in there now, and White lines up in the backfield as Thomas drops the throw. He had plenty of time and finally gets it away to the sideline. And uh, L.T. Levine is in the backfield. It is third down, 11. Levine looking for some daylight to run, and you just, if you don't get there in a hurry. seconds to go in the first quarter of play starting to show you Bentley with that little skip hits it gets it up and at the 11 yard line it's George White and White again has a pretty good hole on the kick return and uh, I've preached to these guys uh, for five years now that uh, if you're a true competitor you want to stop step up to the and be able to slide away from trouble you get enough knots on you you'll learn to yep. feel it you'll learn to to look around. There's a pass thrown hard by Thomas into the hands of Rodney Harris. And after one period of play in the Wendy's kickoff classic, it is Florida State 14 and the Kansas Jayhawks nothing. Kansas now as we start the second quarter of play. Thomas back. Looks to throw, and he's taken down almost before he can get his eyes downfield. He's had a 59-yarder. He's had one block for a touchdown. There's no pressure on him this time, and he gets it out of there, but he doesn't get it to turn over. And Corey Sawyer comes up with a fair catch. Deep back, and uh, Zach Crockett out there. No, it's Clyde Allen out there. And uh, number 22, Smith, has the ball. And he's from Castleberry, Florida, 195-pounder. And a surprise uh, tackle. Gained the eight yards on the play, so the, you know, the stampede is working. That's what they want to call it. There's that little misdirection play. William Floyd carries the ball this time, and again, it works for pretty good yardage. Because obviously, it's the first game of the year. You haven't established a lot of depth. Up the middle, Mamalonga trying to get a piece of somebody. He's getting hungry. He hadn't hit anybody uh, in the open yet today. He wants to get a piece of that quarterback, 25. <laughs> Down the middle, pass, good. McCorvey, wide open. McCorvey's having a big day. 13 minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half of play. 14 to nothing, Florida State leading Kansas. Ward back. Again, ball is rolling around loose. And it's second down and 10 for the Seminole. Up the middle, Sean Jackson. Ford moves him into an eye, then into a two back. Third down and three, a little quick drop, fake. Pressure on, they got him. So Kansas and Chris Malmalonga on fourth and five. The Seminoles are going for it. Charlie Ward, deep drop, setting up a screen. Get it to Jackson. Jackson turns it upfield and reaches and doesn't get there. Kansas held him. So the Hawks take over. And Fred Thomas sets him up. Look out. Better hurry, got his pass off, and on his knees, Greg Ballard making the catch. He gets it away, and it is incomplete, and uh, earlier. Ineligible downfield on the offense. They played Five yard penalty with the second down. Bowl last So he is really starting out with new skill position players. LT Levine is in the backfield behind Fred Thomas. He's got it. Blocking over there on the corner. And a good solid hard run. White gets the first down. Crosses the 30. Temperature on the field more than 120 degrees. White's in the backfield. Trying to get around the corner. Does. 
Picked up about seven yards before Corey Sawyer. Similar to what those other three I mentioned uh, were at Florida State. Second down and two. Levine gets the first down, turns it upfield, a big play, but there is a penalty flag back inside the 40-yard line. No, it's offside. Line, Florida State. Down. George White stepped away from one man, breaks loose, caught from behind and dragged down by Devin Bush. George has uh, five carries and 45 yards, and L.T. Levine is back in there as White goes to a wide out, give it to Levine, penalty flag thrown, and they get Levine at the 20-yard line for the loss. Good ball, full start, offense. And they've got guys that can block the kicks. Joe Hornback, who is the number three center, is now in the ball game. So they're having trouble at the position that starts everything. There's a good pass thrown complete to tie it in. Brent Willaford did. Kansas looking at second down, a yard and a half. And George White lines up at the deep back position. They pitch it to him, bring that tight end over to set up some blocking. He goes for his first down, and he knows can just turn up the Jets and respond. L.T. Levine is inside the five. Might be your best. They got White back in there at tailback now. He gets it. Penalty flag goes down. Good ball. Good. Ball start. Offense. And it pulls as the ball comes back to the eight, and Charles Henley steps in at the tailback position. He's fresh legs. He's got the ball. And he slashes his way down to about the two. Levine is back. He's the deep man. Thomas throws it. Penalty flag, got to be, because uh, number 93, appearance, defense. Pull from the two now, inside the two for Kansas. White didn't get there. Levine, the deep back. Penalty flag, I think Florida State might have been offside. Levine's not going to score either. He Yips from the two. Fred Thomas tries it. Defense. No, not either. Offside. It's Just lined up offside. They're going to get it in there. Just inside the one-yard line. Thomas pitches to Henley. Have scored yet. Levine is back. He's got it. He goes at it again. And Penalty flag on the field. He did offside. Five have been penalties. Offside Florida State again. Who played most of this quarter inside the Florida State's 10 yard line? Fullback gets it. Costello good on third down and goal, and he didn't score. So One Henley, more time. Henley is the deep man. Let's see if they give it to him. Yes, they do. He did not score. He did not get there. All of these players. Sawyer number two. I mean Abraham two. That's that is close. That's close. That is awfully close. And the Florida State defense and the Kansas offense. Right now the Florida State offense. Fresh lets it go deep. This is Vanover. Penalty flag. Number 11, Charlie Davis. Ran over Vanover. On first down, Ward gives it to Jackson. Jackson hands it to Vanover. Vanover on a reverse is run out of bounds by Chris Malmalonga. And the kids really wanted to do it, too. So the combination, I think, is the reason why we're here. Well, he's happy to be here, but he would like to have been the quarterback in that last series. <laughs> I bet he would. On first down, ball is thrown to Tamarick Vanover. On the near side, Charlie Ward now is 12 of 17 for 131 yards in this first half. This is Sean Jackson right up the middle. And looking incredibly after 10 plays inside the 10-yard line, Kansas did not get it in the end zone. Ward gives to Jackson. Look at the sweep it. They run through a couple of tackles. When he gets rolling, he can be as good as anybody they've had there. On second down and six, Ward. Ball is at 
the 41 yard line. Third down and the foot. Jackson. Yes. Going to throw it. And he does. And knocks his deep. And he caught it. I don't believe it. How did he reel that thing in? Fake it. Knocks top of your screen. Double coverage. They don't see the ball. That's the freshman. I believe that was a freshman. No, Davis. Charlie Davis. Yeah. yeah. He's a true freshman. Yep. Doesn't make the play. So it's first and goal for the Seminoles. And they're breaking Kansas' heart right here. Touchdown for William Floyd. Kansas was down and they hammered and hammered and hammered and couldn't get it in the end zone. Florida State took over inside their one. And he does. So with 41 seconds to go in the first half. Florida State may have just broken Kansas' will. As Cannon presents the Little League World Series live. Low skidding kick coming down the field where it is picked up by George White, the senior from Allen, Texas. And this time he doesn't find that hole up the middle. First down for Kansas. White finds some room and gets out to the 37, close to the 38. Call it the 38, second down and two. This is Levine. A little change of pace. And he has a first down as time runs out. And the first half is over with the Florida State Seminoles holding a 21 to nothing lead over the Kansas Jayhawks in the Wendy's kickoff classic. He is exciting. Clock nails it. He won't bring that one back. He runs him all the way to the back of the end zone. Florida State will start at the 20. Ward comes out, having uh, gone 13 for 18 in the first half with 136 yards. Has thrown balls that should have been and could have been certainly intercepted. Sean Jackson could have gone down behind the line of scrimmage there. So far, no cramps, no trouble with it. The trainer's going to special diets, lots of liquids. They're handling their athletes very well. Pass down the middle, and the, that one's been there all day long. First down, the ball just short of the 42, out of the shotgun. The Knowles. Goes for Fryer. Good. Penalty flag. Back around the line of scrimmage. It's against the Seminole. Five counted, and five were penalty players. First down, and oh my goodness. Big Chris Mamalonga. That Charlie is none the worse for wear. But there is no question that this man is their meal ticket if they're going to go anywhere as far as national championships this year. That ball is thrown to the sidelines and is thrown right through the arm. On the outside, and it seems to give Charlie a little bit of problem today. Little play action. The pass goes down the middle. It's good to McCorby again. And again, that uh, uh, pass play down the middle is, is there. Little quick drop, little quick pop. All thrown hard. He goes right through the hands. Of so, some blitzing, a little bit different for Kansas. On second and ten, here's Jackson. Good blocking on the right side. Touchdown, Sean Jackson. Right down the highway. So the youngster from Colorado who came to Tallahassee to play his football as it bore and uh, the Seminoles lead it 28 to nothing. Good, but, uh... Bentley's kickoff high and deep. Way back there. He really gets it airborne, doesn't he? They just don't know how long he can stand it. Oh, it. They're having trouble with... Uh, his ankles and knees this year, aren't you? That's uh, George White carrying the ball. Second down and six for Kansas. From the 24. Uh, Fred Thomas didn't have any choice that time. Number 84 is Rodney Harris. He hasn't seen the ball much today. He's the 6'6 wide out. Fred Thomas trying to throw the ball, can't get it away. Derek Alexander gets him again. This FSU team, they have got the guys to make big plays. 
Pressure at that time. Dan does a pretty good acting job, but no call on it. Sawyer looking around for a little crack here and there. There's a penalty flag thrown. Locked above the waist. Going to return. 10-yard penalty. First down. One of the, the rubber chicken stops this year. The second unit, the Stampeders in the ball game. This is number 28, Warwick Dunn. He's a freshman from Baton Rouge. And boy, he came in a whisker. Ain't over a thousand yards last year as a quarterback. So after you get through with that misery, here comes Charlie Ward and company. And Charlie threw that ball just a little bit behind. Yes, you can see Stanford, Washington, if you're interested in pay-per-view, just as you could any of the other games being covered by ABC. That ball is thrown low and underneath. That's the AP rank you see there. Ward back. Charlie lets it go. And it's incomplete. He's leading 28 to nothing, and he lets him punt. High drifting punt. That first kick, he hit it down there about the five yard line and just like a nine iron just from here to Washington, D.C. Two days. You think Emmett Smith will be there? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. George White carries the ball is at the 17 yard line, second down and 13. Fred Thomas throws incomplete, throwing into the sideline. Let's go to Jackaroo. Third down, Fred Thomas. Gets it away to George White. White wiggling around up the middle of the field. is going to stop just short of the 30, and that's just short. No. No, they don't. Eichloff got it out. Didn't get much of it. I thought for a second we might see a little short punt going there with the ball snapped to somebody up front. Back out there. <laughs> All those fresh legs and everything. Here they go. That's Warwick Dunn, and Kansas uh, grabs him by the coattail this time and handles him. You know, that could, could, could see and feel the things that he feels. William Floyd carrying the last time we were there of course was the first of the celebrated wide rights that's why Scott Bentley is uh, hanging his hat down in Tallahassee times these high school phenoms don't turn out so well but these two have second down and eight wards pass to the sidelines good Kevin Knox and they take him out of bounds but he's got his first down at the first down This is Smith. Pretty nifty. Yep. With dispatch. Uh, officials are all alert to make sure it is done properly and quickly. Now, but we haven't seen any instance in this ball game where there was a factory yet. This is Warwick Dunn getting some playing time. Second down and one, Marquette Smith. He's in the backfield with Floyd and uh, Ward out of the shotgun. Now they shift it back to the eye. Floyd's the up back. Smith weaving his way. Touchdown. That's quite a run. Well, he's not very big, as you mentioned. Uh, he is uh, 194 pounds, but he's only 5'7". The try. Right up the pipe. 35 to nothing. Florida State leading Kansas. 7.17 to go. Third quarter, Wendy's kickoff classic. Charles Davis. Scott Bentley kicks it off, and again, the ball is very high. That much hang time, you're going to get pretty good coverage on it. They haven't exactly taken George White down early all day. He's been well across the 20 every time. So let's see if this means a little different kind of approach to the offense. LT Levine lines up behind him. Preston straight back. Throws it. Incomplete. Okay. I don't think they're going to find too much tougher competition the rest of the way after Florida State. Not, not even in Lincoln. Or Boulder. To prevent injury. And, uh, ten guys running down, running yep. into eight guys. And... That'll be a first down as Henley again brings fresh lead to, to get through this day without somebody collapsing on a clamp. It's hard to believe. They're going to call a penalty there. Pass interference. Defense. Kansas has the ball. The penalty will benefit. Graduate 80% of them. What 20% am I willing to give up on? 
and we stay after it. And uh, if, uh, I, I sell them the idea that we've got the support systems and we've got the help, regardless of what their background has been, regardless of the... Well, if they go 13-0, and 0, they won't have any trouble getting enough votes. Now, and we'll, we'll put the schedule up and let, uh, let the viewers take a look at it. This is Charles Henley carrying... And what if it's a cold day up there in South Bend in November? And it can be. Pressure coming. They get Preston. That's a good kick. Sawyer, fair catch. Back around the 12. At this time, it's John Stark at quarterback, number five. John making his first appearance. A sophomore from Nashville. He hands the ball away to Warwick Dunn. And uh, Dunn's not easy. Danny Cannell, sophomore out of Fort Lauderdale. Ball is handed to Marquette Smith. He is exciting. Second on the team in tackle. Clyde Allen. Also out there, but this is Smith carrying again. Country to 20th. Same way with total defense. He has made a huge improvement in this program. And, uh, uh, I think it was in Fort Lauderdale or around that area. Penalty flag flutters and Good Florida ball. State leading 35 to nothing. And this kid Dean, I think, is going to do very well. So does his coach. Play the game. Offense. Just got indicted in the Florida Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs> Let a dead horse rest. <laughs> Here comes Vanover coming around the corner again. They pursue him and they get him. This is in the punt. Might have a little room for a return by Lassiter. Yep, we'll try. And gets back across the 30 to the 32-yard line. He went over there for a while, yeah. Yeah, I thought he did. Preston caught behind the line of scrimmage, but he's fresh. Remember that. And make something out of nothing. And that'll do it for quarter number three. We'll return with more from the Wendy's kickoff classic between Kansas and Florida State after these messages and a word from our ABC station. Kansas now trying to make something happen on second down. Preston keeping the ball. A little misdirection here. Wide Gets open. his pass away and he's got a man wide open downfield and he hit him. It's first down for the Jayhawks. Well, they, uh, they say they had their freshman corners in there. They're not in there anymore. Nope. This is Henley. He can't go anywhere. Emily yeah, looking for some daylight. Yep. They're linebackers and secondary backup people, particularly of very, very young. They blitz it. Preston gets it away. They've got a screen set up. Running back Levine runs away from his screen. They had 10 plays inside the 10-yard line against the Florida State defense and couldn't punch it in. Now they go for three. Hit the upright and kicks off to the right. And the Jayhawks are going to go home and they're going to tell their grandchildren about the time they went to the Meadowlands in New Jersey and got snake bit. Florida State comes with the ball now from the 20 and a lot of reserves in the game, including Danny Cannell at quarterback and Marquette Smith at tailback, and he runs it for about 10 yards. This is home country to you, too. You're a Jersey boy, aren't you? D.C. a few years ago, uh, it was very important in our basketball. Top three or four of our league, Keith, as you know, you've got a shot to move in the NCAA tournament. And uh, now with athletes like uh, Charlie Ward and, of course, Andre Cooper, the freshman in graduate work right now, and he'll play both sports this year. And I think even the combination of football, basketball is so interesting. Maybe a guy that could be a starting quarterback. Andre Cooper, number one, he was uh, the recipient of that last pass and an outstanding uh, High school basketball player. They have suffered a door knob when he The Kansas Athletic Program, they, they pulled that, that the triple off the, the football. Well, Keith, he's going to be in the NFL. Someday he may be taking snaps, too. Well, Jack, don't buy any more fire extinguisher systems. Now, he's already sold you one. NBA, right? Yes, they did. Whoa, look at this. Old Sean cranked up and popped one all the way back to the 15-yard line. Goes Tommy Lassiter. And weaves his way out to the 45, and you... Illegal block in the back above the waist. So the illegal it block's going to back yards. him up. That's it's cool enough. That's cool enough. It's only 105. <laughs> Behind the line of scrimmage. I think Southern California became the favorite to win the Pac-10 with a Washington sanction. 
and uh, they play uh, North Carolina out in Anaheim. And send our best wishes along to him. Pass is just a little bit too high. Personal foul. Roughing the passer is defense. First, they can't do it. They might as well get out of the business. If the kid, if the kid makes commits the foul, penalize, him. penalize the kid and the, and the uh, alumni. 108, 108. And the one levied on Washington by the Pac-10. And they had their option of when to take the absence of television, when to get off TV, and they chose to take it this year, which I think is good thinking. I think it's... Uh, all of these rules exist because the competitive circumstances of intercollegiate athletics. And now we're at a second down and short fourth. Oh. Now it's third down and eight. Preston looking for a little daylight. Penalty flag is thrown along the line of scrimmage. Don't know who it is, but he'll beat somebody. That... On fourth down, Eichloff try to get it up high. Kill it deep. And he's got it hanging. Depends on the bounce. He's got a good bounce on it, so he's going to get to kill this one down around the 10-yard line. Good punt. Uh, John Stark comes out at quarterback with Marquette Smith lined up behind him and they fake a little reverse Smith keeping it and we'll pick up about seven yards on the play he didn't like to practice but he kept at it so he could be good you got to practice David went out there and he practiced and practiced and practiced slinging all them old oh look at this nice penetration by Monday he will have walked away from a bonus offer from the Toronto Blue Jays of a quarter million dollars. That pass complete to Andre Cooper, the young man, about those two young men at the Florida State. Here comes Bella Dunn again. And remember on ABC's Wide World of Sports today, you've got Cannon presenting the Little League World Series from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. First down, Florida State at the 21. All reserves in the ball game now for the Seminoles. Here's John Stark on a rollout. He throws it down the middle. Gets a big tight end. And Rodney Williams canters into the end zone for a touchdown. A freshman from Palatka, Florida. And a big one, 6'4", 255. Another true freshman, Williams. Nice. Yeah, that's got to be a little frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> Bentley's kick, good. No Scott Bentley in his first game at uh, Florida State now totals seven points on extra points as the Noles lead it 42 to nothing. For this part of the country this time of the year. And a high hanging kick again by the young man from Colorado. Or a very some. Tom Coughlin at Boston College is another one of those uh, coaches. Uh, it's going to have a pretty good team. They, uh, they, have they are hungry. Folks in Chestnut Hill apparently love the football. Uh, seems to be the guy. Uh, Florida with Dean. I think all these programs are going to just pick up and continue to go along. Eichloff's punt gets a good tight spin on this one. Nobody back to field it. Say I clock. What do I say? List. Next week, Bob and I go to Seattle for that Washington Stanford game, and there'll be some feelings surrounding that. One. Just uh, sit down on a knee, I'll be very surprised, and that's exactly what it is. The game's over. The Florida State Seminoles beat the Kansas Jayhawks by a score of 42 to nothing in the Wendy's kickoff classic from the Meadowlands in New Jersey. And we'll be back with more in a moment.